citizens, welcome back everybody. Welcome one and all back to Wild West Online here. We're going to just do a brief, short tutorial. It's going to be kindergarten level guys. If you know the basics of the game, uh, it's definitely not for you. But I wanted to just take the time to address a lot of things that have been ongoing lately with this game. And mainly that is there's really no good tutorial out there. That talks about the game and its basics so what this is going to cover is purely mechanical there will be future tutorials that cover all different aspects of the events that cover the current PvP things to do as well as the current PvE things to do but to start with we are here in town in Stone Creek guys as the description says we'll spawn in I had to ride here by horseback to get here but um, let's just start with basic camera C changes between first and third person V will swap your shoulders. You can tell more on a horse, but when you press V, it will change the, your camera angle to some degree. Left Alt, if your camera ever gets stuck, the left Alt will break the stuck camera out. Tab is going to be inventory. There are individual tabs that show, for, show uh, every category within the inventory. Uh, escape is, gonna ha is how you're going to get to the menus. You'll have one for group. One for your horse and the ability to customize the horse skin as well. Let's go with that one. Then you'll have a few choices of saddle. That looks good. Uh, skills. And we'll get into skills later. But that's that's quite a detailed spot. So we will come back to that in another video. Achievements, obviously. Journal for quest. And there's really the only two you'll see right now is uh, events and errands. Then of course settings. So uh, let's go ahead and press the Y button, and Y highlights every store in town available. So we're going to go ahead over to the clothing store, which is the first place they, they actually happened to visit in the um, promo video. Uh, this is my original account, so we are going to change how we look a little bit, so we don't blend in too much, or stand out too much as a white shirt. I won't use my old standard rainbow poncho, but we will go down for the bandolier. There we go. Let's grab some better pants. Those are nice. Boots. Uh, basic holster. And let's find a simple looking hat here. What do we got? All right, that'll have to do. Now you press H and pop on your horse. And we're going to just go ahead and show all the different stores in town off here. As I said, guys, very basic. This is, all this is going to cover is controls. Uh, shift, left shift to sprint. And here at the first store, you'll see a crafting bench, as well as the gun store itself. Come on down the street here, you'll see the bar with places to change your clothing, as well as places to get a drink, and the still right there. Uh, here's the sheriff's office. You can get still, still get a sheriff's badge, but since sheriff and outlaw is not currently implemented, there's really no point to even visit the sheriff's office. Here at the bank is another great place to stop, and this is an extremely common question I see in local chat. Where do I find my global inventory? Well, that is right here. Walk right up to the big steamer trunk, press E. Now, those of you that did buy different editions of the game, you will have your promo freebie, your promo freebie items here in the last tab. So you'll have your clothing bags and everything that you, you got when you bought the uh, version of the game you did there, as well as any other things that you buy from the real money shop will normally appear there in global inventory. So we're gonna cut on down the way a little further and look at more crafting benches that one's for smelting obviously and um, I think you can make metal bars and gold bars and a few other things there so this is nice here this shop actually that does have another global inventory in it and then this is just a general store where you can buy more supplies and things of that nature but let's go ahead and take a ride outside of town so we can actually use our gun now to select our gun you're going to press left control and select it. People also do go into inventory with tab and right click it and hit equip. However, I prefer left control and then equip that way. Press G to select ammo type. With the pistols you have steel, poison, as well as standard equalizer ammo, lead revolver ammo. Let's cross the river here and we are going to go to some, we're going to go head towards one of the safe houses we have unlocked. Now the biggest thing about Wild West Online for everybody new out there is you are going to die. And you're going to die a lot. 
that's just the name of the game right now. They have, they meaning the devs, have noted that there are balance issues that they're working on. So bear with them as they get those things fixed. But in the meantime, you will die a lot. However, you do not drop gear anymore. That is a misconception that a lot of people seem to have right now. You will not drop gear. They've removed full loot drop from the game. All you will drop is gold. I think that guy was about to gun me down. So don't worry about dying. Don't worry about nothing like that. Because you're going to die a lot. It's the Wild West. So we're at a safe house. Now you can unlock these things with cabin keys. They are all over the map. Uh, since my main character has a bunch unlocked, they are also unlocked on this character. While in the safe house, you can't even use your gun, but you can still press G to reload your ammo at the safe house itself. However, you cannot shoot from it. It's a safe spot, and as long as you're in it, you cannot be harmed. Now next off, we're going to go ahead and go over to our plantation right here, if the map will let me travel. There we go. Now the plantations are accessed via coming up to them with the small plantation deed in your inventory. You just press E on the front gate. Uh, these are a major work in progress right now. Uh, there were some patch notes today that described changes coming. And so pretty soon these places will be much better off. But in the meantime, you cannot do too much here. However, we are going to go ahead and uh, take a look around inside. As you can see, it's pretty basic and not much going on. But let's go ahead and get out of here. And we'll come back to this later and we're going to discuss a few more things in a future video about the plantations and how they work. But for now, let's go ahead on outside the front gate here and get away from it because people like to jump the fence. Now, this is an instance location, so when you're in here, nobody can see you, but as soon as you jump the fence, you'll be spotted and people love to pop over the fence and try and shoot you. Now another thing about uh, these recent changes is you can now shoot from horseback so right click to aim and you can fire at will of course at whatever you're shooting at. Now the combat system in this game is pretty basic. A um, little bit of luck involved, a little bit of skill involved. Uh, there are bleed mechanics so if I shoot somebody once with um, this pistol I have right now they'll begin to bleed and it'll take one or two more follow-up shots to kill them. The only way to access medical supplies right now is via tab. So when you're in a combat situation, whatever tab you last clicked within the inventory will be the tab that stays open. So make sure you leave your medical tab open. So if I were to get wounded right now, I could press number lock to keep riding my horse and then press tab to use the medicine, press tab to use the bandage as needed and then keep on riding fast. And that just about covers all the basic mechanics. Now we're going to talk a little bit about leveling. And we will of course do a more detailed combat video here in the near future. But we're going to talk about leveling. Uh, the best way to level early on is to kind of explore the map. I do have an XP booster on because I had the treasury notes from uh, when I bought the collector's edition. So I bought the 30 day uh, XP booster and then a, a little extra. So what can I say? I'm a try hard. Uh, there's a couple terms in games you need to know here. A white shirt is going to be a new player, like we had a white shirt on when we initially started. A try hard is a guy that uh, likes to support the game, enjoys the game. Pretty much a nice version of a fanboy. And uh, you'll see a lot of try hards riding around. Most of us really do enjoy what we do. Uh, you'll find a big group of guys that like to play in my Discord server and to boot. And uh, overall, it's a good bunch of guys that play this game currently. Um... Let's highlight a few things that are confusing people and chasing people away. Uh, the combat system is pretty brutal right now, as I will show you all momentarily. And that does chase a lot of players off. People don't like to jump in a game and just die repeatedly. There's a lot of camping that goes on, so be on your toes at the farmhouses. People like to just come up there and shoot you. Be on your toes uh, when you leave town. Leave town quickly and safely. And just in general, keep your head on a swivel. It is the Wild West, and as I said, you will die a lot and that is just the name of the game I think that's how it should be and um, with a little bit of time they will balance things out as needed so as you guys can see we just gained 500 experience for riding here into town 
So we're going to skip on up over the hill here and discover this next area. So we'll get a level up. And there are about 60 zones to discover. Each one gives you 500 experience. So that'll put you well past level 10. And then um, we will at, at, at some point talk about events, missions, what else gives you experience. Killing other players gives you about 10 XP per kill. Missions will give you 1 or 2,000 per kill. Looting the chest at the tents like up here. That'll get you another two or 300 per chest. This one has been looted, but I always like to stop at the tents and check around here. And I have people ask me, uh, how do I stay alive? And really the answer is I don't. I die just as much as the next person. So you just gotta get used to it. And I see that as the biggest biggest thing that people complain about. I've read a lot of the view, I've, le I've read a lot of the reviews on Steam. The biggest thing I see is people are just thrust into a game, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go. And uh, that's what we're here for. So let's talk about events. There's quite a few events right now. I believe there's five total. There's the Rags to Riches, which just flashed on our screen. There's the Relic Hunt. There's the Stagecoach. Town Capture and hot air balloon. You can choose to go to any of these events that you want. And there we are, level four. Let's talk about another thing while we're here. Let's go to our skills and we're gonna put a point in the backpack. Uh, as a new player, play very close attention to your inventory. You will run out of space quickly and then if you're given any reward in game, it will drop to the ground where anybody can pick it up. So I suggest always having two free inventory slots. Go to your global inventory often, put your stuff away but always have two free inventory slots so if you get rewards from quest or rewards from PvP events they do indeed go to your inventory and don't get dropped on the ground if they get dropped on the ground someone will pick it up absolutely pick it up before you get a chance to grab it back people are looking for that stuff people want that easy free loot and that's just the name of the game you know I mean these are things that I'm telling you so you learn so make sure you always have free inventory space and don't go dropping nothing by accident so we'll get you in trouble. Let's come on over here to this house here in uh, Ghost Crag Farm. And we'll look at what the quest vendor has to offer, offer here if he's got a quest for us. So these are technically errand quests. Everything is a bit unbalanced right now. The devs have noted that they will be working on changing the quest and the requirements. This one says, uh, bring me five rabbit pelts. And when you accept this quest, he also gives you an animal trap that you can put down. And of course, putting down the animal trap is going to be, again, left control and dropping it to the ground. You can get pelts right now via this animal trap, as well as finding them at the camps that we just visited. Um, these, in, in the bulk of the quests are going to get reworked, according to the devs. They're going to work on changes that will make more sense. Now, another thing that now spawns in the farmhouses is blueprints. Let's pick that up. Let's see what we get. So right click to open that blueprint. This is a recent change. Blackberry Pie. And uh, blueprints are shared via the whole account from, is my understanding. So we're going to learn that blueprint now. So we learned Blackberry Pie going in the farmhouse. So the loot, the loot in the farmhouses is much better than it used to be. We actually need to drop a few things. Let's drop, let's drop that. No, I don't have space for all this. But we are absolutely going to take that bottle of whiskey. That's another thing, yeah, to, to drop things, you just left click drag out of inventory is the best way to do it. Ooh, eggplant seeds. We will look over those too. So farmhouses are some of the best loot right now, and a lot of people want to get in the game and just start finding loot as quick as they can, and that is great. Here's another good one to find. The material bags spawn just about everywhere. And apple tree seeds, very nice. So let's go ahead and open this up. When we get crafting wood, and we will talk about crafting in a future video much else in here no but since we did get some garden seeds and stuff of that nature we will just go ahead outside and plant them down so again left control to the deployable menu we can put these down we'll put down that apple tree too things do have to be spaced apart to some degree here so these will spawn about every two minutes it looks like our animal trap is ready let's see what we get a mountain lion pelt which is for another quest entirely so while this stuff cooks here, we're going to press H to summon our horse. However, we're going to leave him there for a second, and we're going to run across here to the barn. 
Uh, barns are another great place to find loot. Uh, stream miners spawn here a lot, animal traps spawn here a lot, and there are resources that now also spawn on the ground. So let's take a quick look around and see if we got anything while we wait for that those uh, farm plots to hit over there. But we are going to cover farming in more detail in the future. And then after this we're going to pay a quick visit to the stagecoach so you can see how quickly I like to die. And then we're going to see what other trouble we can get into. Let's go ahead back over here to the farm and grab those things. They should be ready here momentarily. Yeah, there's our meat again. Beaver pelt that time, but there's the eggplants, so eat a harvest. It is a random number generator there. And then again with the apple tree. Very nice. But uh, you can, and the way these work is they're on a timer. You have to press E to loot every time that timer is done. Um, there's no specific number of times that they hit. You just have the the timer so they're all there for all the deployables are normally in game for about 20 minutes so the goal is to loot is all loot all you can in that 20 minute time frame it's not like they have 10 charges or anything you literally have to just stand there by it and loot it as much as possible oh and there's a stream miner we'll cover that in a future video but as you can see there's plenty of good loot here so make sure you all visit the farmhouses pick up that loot take advantage of it, gather those seeds and find a safe corner of the map and put down some stuff and work on being a farmer. Do what you gotta do. But let's um, let's go over to Broken Gorge here. This is the town capture event. These things are normally pretty violent but let's see if we can cause any trouble here. Normally they were outnumbered 10 to 1 at these things. Let us see if we can get this. So with the town capture events the boxes do spawn on the ground here. Let's see if we can get one. Hey friend. Now you just ride it off to the capture point. And that is the basis of the town capture. Ooh. Oh man, that was close. Oh right. So now we're wounded, so we right click. Ooh boy. And he got me with that, that rifle right there. But we got that box turned in, but that is the premise of town capture, guys. You, you gotta kill the other players, you gotta turn those boxes in as quick as possible. But let's uh, let's try that once more. Let's try and get another kill on somebody here. With the basic starter pistol, you gotta kind of stay back a little ways. But don't be the noob that sits here on the porch like this. Don't sit here and crouch and try and shoot people. You can be seen. Don't be this guy. Just uh, get right up in it, try and shoot them down, and if you die, you die. That's part of the game. So let's go shoot somebody here real quick. If we can find somebody worth shooting. Normally the town's full of the other faction, but we're getting lucky today. Look at that. We're going to find us another box right now. Oh, he's going to come and try and take it from us. Ah, we got him. Take that, Timmy. So we press tab and use the bandage again because you do bleed when you get shot. You will take bleed damage. So use those bandages. Then we're going to right click and use a tonic real quick. We're going to get on up the hill. And that's good stuff right there. Beautiful. We got us a second box. But guys, that is the premise of town capture. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to die. So stay on your toes. And just get in there and shoot at these events. These are you know purposeful PvP events and they're they're built to want to have the players engage with each other so this is a very very big focal point of the game right now and once you get up and level a little bit get a, b a better gun than the basic starter pistol um, it's pretty good stuff let's get him come on Timmy got him again how about that uh oh We might actually die this time, fellas. Ooh, sorry, buddy. That's a friend. Don't worry, there's no friendly fire. We're just going to run for it this time. I don't. I didn't want to go out the front door and risk getting shot in the face. We got us another box. But this is the name of game right here, guys. This is great stuff. And uh, right now, the, the Steels kind of outnumber the McFarlands on the server. 
So we are getting lucky to have a good capture like this. But that is the basic, the basics of the town capture event, guys. And as you can see, the PvP is pretty fluid. Don't be afraid to right-click to aim at him. If you're close to him, press C to go in first person so you can shoot without having to aim. But yeah, right-click to aim and get some shots downrange on him. And just jump in there, guys. Have a good time with the PvP. Um, this is a PvP-centered game. They have promised more PvP elements in the future. However, um, those will occur with time, of course. But uh, if you guys have questions, let me know in the comments. There are going to be specific tutorial guides to every major topic in the game. So we will cover the events in detail. Every event, we will cover farming in detail. We will cover quests in a bit more detail. And we will cover maybe a how to survive type of uh, video. How to live longer in combat, things of that nature. How to shoot better, aim better. We'll talk about player builds and what needs to be done with those. But you guys have a great night. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Share with your buddies. Keep supporting the game. Uh, I know some, some like it, some hate it, guys. Whatever you decide, just jump in, have a good time. Come check out our Discord server. The uh, Ginger Empire has pretty good Discord server going. We have about 20 people in there that play daily. So you guys have a great night, and I will see you all in the West.